What's good, YouTube? Stormy B Man, and I'm back with another Stormy B Man's Briefs. This time, the focus is on a little back and forth between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk, where Fury seems to suggest that size will matter in the fight between the two of them. It's a very interesting aspect coming from a man who has had some success in the heavyweight division, but he's also had quite a bit of assistance in the heavyweight division, if you understand how I've covered this particular fighter over the past few years. That being said, the accomplishments of Alexander Usyk should not go unnoticed. The man was the undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world and moved up and within a year and a half to two years time has become the unified heavyweight champion of the world, defeating Anthony Joshua, the man whom he conquered for the titles twice in a row. Anthony Joshua, the last time we checked, is six foot six and over 250 pounds. Now Tyson Fury, who has a couple of inches of height and reach over Joshua, one thing that can be said about Fury is he has not had the type of body of work in past or present of his, few, of his current heavyweight experience. This is what we have to acknowledge with Fury. He is best known for his fights against Deontay Wilder and Vladimir Klitschko. And in both instances, he has proven to be someone that you have to kind of call into question certain aspects about him, both inside the ring and outside the ring. One thing we can look at Usyk and consider a quote that he had to answer back at Fury, suggesting that he's a middleweight and that his size and weight would be too much for Alexander. Usyk responded to Fury's comments with a simple quote. He said, the engine is much more important than the fuselage. Yeah, I like a man who speaks from a place of substance. And that's something that Fury knows nothing about, but he does know about substances, doesn't he? Yes, we have seen, heard, witnessed, and also it has been shown that the man has a chemical dependency, both in performance enhancing as well as recreational drugs, huh? both illegal in the sport of boxing. Now, the thing about Alexander Usyk is this. For as accomplished as he is, he will face the same ridicule that Evander Holyfield faced after moving up from the cruiserweight division. But that's okay, because his body of work stands, and even at the end of his career, wherever it goes from this point out, it will be proven that he has been proven a winner. And at the end of the day, a winner will find ways to continue on. And even when suffering setbacks, winners will find a way to persevere, to come back and be even better. Have we seen anything like that with Tyson Fury? I don't believe we have, but it's okay because at the end of the day, losers are just that. And they point fingers in the other directions of others and they find ways to make excuses for themselves. Like, oh, my elbow hurts. I think I might need surgery. Oh, I've got mental issues, huh? Or, oh, you know, I'm just, you know, a shithouse. Yeah. Maybe sometimes when you speak, you speak the truth. This is something to think about. What do you say? This is Stormy B Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. And that's all I have for you at this time. Leave comments. Let me know what you think about this. Peace to everyone out there. And everyone, please remain safe.